and finding new ways to strengthen both of our economies. <clears throat> when our militaries conduct joint exercises, we send a powerful message as to our commitment to protecting the global commons and defending our people. This year's Malabar exercise was our most complex to date. The largest vessels from American, Indian, and Japanese navies demonstrated their power together in the Indian Ocean for the first time, setting a clear example of the combined strength of the three Indo-Pacific democracies. We hope to add others in coming years. In keeping with India's status as a major defense partner, a status overwhelmingly endorsed by the U.S. Congress, and our mutual interest in expanding maritime cooperation, the Trump administration has offered a menu of defense options for India's consideration, including the Guardian UAV. We value the role India can play in global security and stability and are prepared to ensure they have even greater capabilities. And over the past decade, our counterterrorism cooperation has expanded significantly. Thousands of Indian security personnel have trained with American counterparts to enhance their capacity. The United States and India are cross-screening known and suspected terrorists, and later this year we will convene a new dialogue on terrorist designations. In July, I signed the designation of Hezbollah Mujahideen as a foreign terrorist organization because the United States and India stand shoulder to shoulder against terrorism. States that use terror as an instrument of policy will only see their international reputation and standing diminish. It is the obligation, not the choice, of every civilized nation to combat the scourge of terrorism. The United States and India are leading this effort in that region. But another more profound transformation is taking place, one that will have far-reaching implications for the next 100 years. The United States and India are increasingly global partners with growing strategic convergence. Indians and Americans don't just share an affinity for democracy, we share a vision of the future. The emerging Delhi-Washington Strategic Partnership stands upon a shared commitment upholding the rule of law, freedom of navigation, universal values, and free trade. Our nations are two bookends of stability on either side of the globe standing for greater security and prosperity for our citizens and people around the world. The challenges and dangers we face are substantial. The scourge of terrorism and the disorder sown by cyber attacks threaten peace everywhere. North Korea's nuclear weapons test and ballistic missiles pose a clear and imminent threat to the security of the United States, our Asian allies, and all other nations and the very international order that has benefited India's rise and that of many others is increasingly under strain. China, while rising alongside India, has done so less responsibly, at times undermining the international rules-based order, even as countries like India operate within a framework that protects other nations' sovereignty. China's provocative actions in the South China Sea directly challenge the international law and norms that the United States and India both stand for. The United States seeks constructive relations with China, but we will not shrink from China's challenges to the rules-based order. And where China subverts the sovereignty of neighboring countries and disadvantages the U.S. and our friends. In this period of uncertainty and somewhat angst, India needs a reliable partner on the world stage. I want to make clear, with our shared values and vision for global stability, peace, and prosperity, the United States is that partner. <clears throat>